Welcome everyone to Panorama News, your detailed look at Egypt and the world today. I'm Nancy Sarah Barakat and we start off with a look at the news making headlines. Egypt begins the first trial run of the new Suez Canal waterway. President Abdel Fattah Sisi meets visiting French Defence Minister after the delivery of three Rafale fighter jets. And new Turkish airstrikes are underway against Daesh and Kurdish militants in Syria and northern Iraq. Welcome back. Head of the Suez Canal Authority, Rear Admiral Moheb Mamish, confirmed that the test run of the new Suez Canal has been successfully completed and proved to the world that Egypt's people are capable of building large national projects. The trial saw the passage of a three-container fleet through the new water lane, 12 days ahead of the official opening ceremony. Mami said that the test runs would continue until the grand opening of the canal scheduled for August the 6th. The first trial run of the new Suez Canal that saw the passage of a 133-ton container through the water lane has begun 12 days ahead of the official opening of the strategic waterway. Head of the Suez Canal Authority, Admiral Mohab Mamish, led the ship coming from the Saudi capital Jeddah, heading to Port Said and carrying the flag of Singapore. Suez Canal authorities run part of the way along the existing canal that connects the Red Sea to the Mediterranean. Officials set six vessels and two fleets of three, each were scheduled to cross through the expanded canal as part of the first trial run. The fleet sailing from south to north had vessels flags from Singapore, Luxembourg and Bahrain. Those sailing from the north to south had flags from Liberia, Singapore and Hong Kong. Meanwhile, dredging continued on Friday at three locations at the latest report on work at the mega project revealed that 875,000 square feet have been dredged. The new waterway involves 37 kilometers of dry digging and 35 kilometers of expansion and deepening of the Suez Canal in a bid to help speed up the movement of vessels. President Abdel Fattah Sisi launched the project in August and set an ambitious target of digging the expanded canal within a year. The new 72-kilometer project is aimed at speeding up traffic along the existing waterway by reducing the waiting period of vessels as well as boosting revenues for Egypt. The canal is part of an ambitious plan to develop the surrounding area into an industrial and commercial hub that would include the construction of ports and provide shipping services. And to tell us more and for more insights, I'm being joined now over the phone by Ambassador Gamel Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Thank you very much for your time. It's my pleasure. As we've just seen, the first trial run of the new Suez Canal has actually taken place. What would be the impact of such uh, an event be domestically and internationally as well? Very good news, and this is not, by the way, a sort of a trial uh, crossing the waterway. It is what we call soft opening. Right. So the canal is open 12 days before the targeted date, which is really a real success. I, I, I am so glad to watch it all over the day while uh, General Mamish is uh, himself on one of those ships. 133,000 tons, it's not a joke, for the first time, uh, belongs to Singapore and other friendly countries. I admire their courage to depend on our uh, accuracy. So the, the waterway is open. This is not the end of the story. This is a beginning of a story of success because the waterway itself, it will triple its revenues, which is huge. Suez Canal for uh, the young generation must know that it is the largest uh, waterway in the world. Nobody dreams of a waterway like that with a revenue of more than $10 billion uh, as a target. But what is the rest? It is to establish a, a huge series of projects, 
in order to attract foreign direct investment. Right. And Egyptian investment was at the lead by 64 billion Egyptian pounds. So uh, uh, we are living now.